If you want to get rich, do exactly the opposite of what the masses do. The masses are sheep. When everybody buys, they buy. When everybody panics, they panic. When everybody sells, they sell. To get wealthy, you have to understand two cycles. One, feeding the sheep. And two, slaughtering the sheep. The recession is made to slaughter the sheep. Take their wool, take their houses, take their lives. Through easing and contracting the flow of money, the Federal Reserve banks go from feeding to slaughtering. And as long as the sheep follow, they are doomed. Do not be a sheep. Never think, act, or invest like the masses. Do the opposite, and you will be rich. Buy when the masses are selling. Sell when the masses are buying. The masses are weak, lazy, and worst of all, they trust their authorities, their governments, and their banks. Do not trust the authorities. Honor will come. Welcome to Market Makers, everybody. Your home for tomorrow's TA today. Often imitate it, never replicate it. Guys, I'm going to show you a very important video today. As a matter of fact, this is the most important video I've made for you since October 23rd when I gave you the 50% long winner on the breakout trade for Bitcoin. You will want to watch this video until the end. We hit a key milestone in our fractal pattern. Guys, understand when these markets, as they travel through price and time, when they harmonize, they create patterns that they repeat repeat year after year, decade after decade. And you're going to see this in the charts because the max pain trade is incoming here for the markets. Right now in the marketplace, you have the permable saying we're going to 6,000, 7,000. And you have people saying we're building the massive top that's going to drop the S&P down to 1,500, down to 2,000, whatever their targets are. They're all wrong and you're going to see it here in the charts because these trades are setting up right now for this 10% correction before we push up to the new all-time highs in the markets. Guys, please do like and subscribe to this channel if you enjoy this content because we are basically shadow banned. And ultimately, I want you to understand when you watch this video, you don't have to chase the markets if you understand the market movements. You don't have to attack the markets. The markets will come to you. Everyone wants to attack. Quit trying to attack. Let the game come to you, man. There's no clock on this thing. This is a war of attrition. This is a process. It's a process. It's a process. Okay? This is a process. A process that repeats over and over again, hence it is a pattern. Without further ado, Warlock, let's start the show. Big shout out to our friends at Grim Hustle. Guys, you can give them a follow on YouTube. That's an intro that we did there. Guys, if you want to trade these markets, check out Simple FX and Being X. On Simple, you can get up to a $5,000 first time deposit bonus exclusive to our link. Those details in the video description and the YouTube comments, I'll pin them, as well as Lee's Telegram. Message him with any questions. Guys, I, I'm in Florida, as all of you know, that follow this channel. And we had hail today. We have thunderstorms today. I'm on satellite. So you won't see my picture here as we do this TA. We're going to cover the essentials. I want to make sure you get this video out before trading on Monday. Go ahead and jump into this. All right, so let's start off. Lee, go ahead and throw that slide up. Simple FX added direct feeds from CME. So all those e-mini products that so many people trade, if you look at it, the e-mini futures, S&P, my charts are going to be updated moving forward. This is ES1, NASDAQ is NQ1, and of course, we're going to keep coin on Bing X. So let's go ahead and jump into it once again. All right, so let's look at this on ES1. You guys have seen this fractal pattern. The 20% wave moves up coming from our October low of 2022. You know about the Y2K. 
a fractal pattern as well. Following the exact same movements, you can go back to those videos. What we want to focus on is this retracement and this key discovery that I found that I'm gonna share with you right now. So we look at these retracements. Again, this is harmonic symmetry, market geometry in the market, 9% down move after 20% up move, 20% up move, 11% down move, easy average, 10%. And what happened? What date was Friday, guys? Friday, we made stock market history. Meta added $200 billion, most ever, single day, add it to their market cap. But more importantly, this is what I want to show you. That was February 2nd. The NASDAQ here on the E-mini almost got to five. I mean, the uh, S&P on the E-mini almost got to 5,000. We got a 49.97. February 2nd, notice the date. What are we talking about happening here in February going into March? 10% max pain sell-off. Let's go back in time, shall we? Let's see if that February 2nd date means anything. Well, looking back in 2023, what was your high before the 9% sell-off? February 2nd, see it there on the bottom of my screen. 9% sell-off. But that could just be 100% a coincidence. February 2nd, key high, selling off 9, 10%. Let's go back to 2022. Is it a coincidence in 2022? Let me expand this some so you can see it. The actual high here on your fractal high was also February 2nd. February 2nd, and you sold off 10.5% bottoming in late February. Most of these patterns here, and then look at what happens after you bottom in late February. You shot back up. And where did you shoot up to? Just after the spring equinox. Now, this was a downtrend. In Y2K, you're an up just like you are right now in 2024. But that took out your previous high, and then you sold off going into summer. Guys, this is the exact same pattern that you've done now two years in a row. February 2nd high, 10% retracement, times more important than price. This is what you're going to be doing in these marketplaces. Looking at this, you made your February 2nd high. I'm expecting this to double top out. Let's go ahead and jump to a clean chart so we can look at this. These previous retracements on February 2nd all ended the same way. They ended with double tops. Here's the 2023 double top. Three wave pattern, move down, move back up, then you fell apart, went down 10%. This is what I think we're going to do right here in this chart. So looking at this, this will probably finish off as a five wave pattern, but looking at this in a three wave perspective, you're gonna do something like this, just like you did before, dropping 10% going into March. So a couple of patterns I wanna show you here on this before we get into the TA. It's a key harmonic pattern. Most patterns are not the two key patterns in natural law trading, guys, are three wave and five wave patterns. Three waves to a bottom, three waves to a top. Here's your wave one, here's your wave two, here's your wave three. Here's the actual wave. Wave one, wave two, wave three. This gave you the bottom for your rally moving back up. You did the exact same thing to the upside. You're gonna see this on the NASDAQ, it's even more clear. But here's your top one, here's your top two, and here's your top three. This would be your wave one up, wave two up, wave three up. How this looks using a five wave count, by the way, a harmonic cycle in natural law is five. How this would look using a five wave count. I can show you this, this is not Elliott wave. I don't trade according to Elliott wave principles. I trade according to natural law principles. There's your wave one. Here's your wave two. Here's your wave three. Here's your wave four. And then here's your wave five for the bottom. And you have the exact same count going back up to the upside. There's your wave one. Bottom. Come up to your top. Bottom again. And then here's your wave five. And this could easily be the high just like it's been the last two February seconds. So you have these harmonic wave counts up and down. You have three waves to a bottom that form three waves to a top. And of course, this is going to be a key retracement area, an area I want to trade. So let's go ahead and zoom in on this, do a little TA, and then we're going to bounce over to the NASDAQ as well. When we're looking at this pattern, we want to look at the retracement. Well, first, let's look at where this could possibly go to. And we've looked at this. This got to a 200% retracement here from our Wyckoff expansion, and it got up to just above. It almost hit 5,000, 49.97 here on the E-mini, right, on ES1. 
and you can see the 200% retracement's at 49.81. You close just below the 200% retracement at 49.80. So I expect this to stay up in this range and start to descend here. And what I want to look at is where could this descend to? I want to look at this leg that we pushed up from. So when we look at this, we already retraced. It's got a 50% retracement, but we already know this is the big market geometry. If this is the high, we're looking at a 10% correction coming in. Look at a 9.5% correction, guys, takes you down to 45.19. Now, remember what's going to happen, in my opinion, based on the fractal wave sets that we have, is we're going to come down to this target. This could be a little bit higher here in the pivot range, but the 1618. 4519. We're going to come down to this target and then we're pushing up to our all time high. So we sell off through February, just like Y2K, just like 2023, just like 2022. Even if the exact same high to the day at this February 2nd high holds, and then we're pushing up late March, early April, new all time high, completing this bullish uptrend and selling back off into the summer. So we know the targets, guys. We know the resistance. Look for topping action on the S&P this week. Remember, it's a process. It's a process. Process. Let the market come to you. Time is more important than price. Let's jump over to the NASDAQ. This is NQ1. Same exact pattern, guys. You can see it so clearly here on the NASDAQ. Wave one, wave two, wave three, bottom. Okay. Wave one up, wave two up, wave three up. You have the exact same three waves to a bottom, three waves to a top, and you can count them out. You have your wave counts here. Here's one, here's two. Here's three, here's four, here's five. And you have five waves, just like I showed you on the S&P, five waves up to the top. Now, something else that many people are asking about, what about the moon phases? You didn't show them again for a couple of videos. Guys, this is something you guys need to understand. These, in natural law, these are potential pivots. And look how this is setting up. It's not that you top out on the first day of a lunar cycle. Is that you form a top. And you can see this so clearly on the NASDAQ. Let's just look over here. Forming that top, sell off. Right here, you still pushed up a little bit. Form the top, sell off. And what did the lunar eclipse give you? The bottom. Right, it gave you the exact bottom for the rally. And you can see this happen over and over again. Here's your top again, sell off. And now we're forming a top underneath this lunar cycle. So let's look at this again from some TA perspective. Let me turn this off. This range that we're at right now on the NASDAQ, guys, is a range that I certainly want to be trading. You can see where the NASDAQ struggling here. Let me go ahead and pull this from here. NASDAQ struggling at the 1618, 17.678. We pushed up to 1770, 17.773. This range right here, to me, this looks like you're already putting in the three wave top, right? This is what you're doing. You're putting in the three wave top, which is a what? It's your double top, okay? It's your double top. And I think that's what you're putting in. If you look back at that trend here from your July high to your October low, you did these three wave tops over and over again. This is how the NASDAQ likes to break down. You can see it here. Here's your bottom. Come back up for this top. Came back down. This one was just a single candle and then a sell off. But you like to make these patterns here in the NASDAQ. So what I want to look at here, again, is this leg retracement. Where could this go? This is going to come, you bounced right off the 382 at 172. When I'm looking at these targets, guys, the 1618, 15, 432, which puts you right back here at your pivot high. Okay. It puts you right back at the pivot high. Something else that's interesting here on the NASDAQ, if we want to look at this from the October rally from whence we started, let's pull our FIB up. Look at your harmonic overlay, the 618 and the 1618 within 100 points on top of each other. Tells me this is strong support. I want to see price get to this area, but the higher level target I would be looking at is where the 0.5 and 1272 overlay each other. That's right underneath 16K, 15,967. So I think you're going to double top in the NASDAQ and start breaking down in the NASDAQ. And if you can break through this area right here, you're coming down to that 15,5, 15,4 area. And we already know what the retracement levels are, right? Did the NASDAQ do the same moves? Let's look at this. Did the NASDAQ do the same moves as the S&P? 
We had February 2nd this past Friday. Let's go back to 2022, 2023. So we look at 2023. Let's see what our high was. Now, the NASDAQ didn't make a new high on this past Friday, but it got really close. Our actual high was on February 2nd, 2023. Now, when you look at this and you're looking at the chart and you're thinking, Brendan, that doesn't look like a lot of points. Really? It's a 9% down move. And when did it bottom? Mid-March, March 13th. It's a 9% down move, 1150 points. And if we go look at February 2022, that was the actual high, just like in 2023. So here you go, February 2nd, 2022. And what did we do on this down move in 2022? 15%. So we have a 9%, we have a 15%. Let's just look at our targets once again, where we have that harmonic confluence here on the current uptrend in our three waves to a top pattern. Let's go ahead and look at these targets. 1618 at 15,432. So let's pull from the very top. Let's measure this down. 13% move, Fibonacci number. 13% move to the 15,432. And if you can't get to that, then you're looking at a 10.5% move to 15,937. Both these moves you did in the last two years, as well going back into the fractal patterns, guys. So understand the confluence. So I, again, all of this is based on everything I'm telling you is how I view the markets. None of this is financial advice. This is based on how I plan on trading the markets. It's entertainment and education purposes, guys. So do your own due diligence. I'm planning on trading up here in this sector. I want to see the market open. I want to see what we do here in futures. But as the NASDAQ pushes up, I believe these tops are in. It's a process and you're going to start breaking down and selling off. And I'm going to be involved in these trades. Let's go ahead and move forward. Let's look at Bitcoin. Bitcoin on the three-day chart, guys, nothing's changed. Nothing's changed. Bitcoin fell, found support at the 3 to 2 at 39,520. We're going sideways. I still expect Bitcoin. Since it made this first peak, the sell-off, I expect the money to bring this back up and bring it back down again. And again, this is going to happen with the markets. We look at this on a daily chart. What does that mean? That means I'm looking at this move up here. You're hovering, your 0.5 is resistance right now at 43,762. I want to see Bitcoin come up at a minimum to 45K. And I would love to see it at 46,750 at the 786. And you can already see this potentially forming here. Let me show you this. Let me show you this move that Bitcoin may be doing right here. Let's go ahead and look at this. So 1618, 46,650. That's my target for Bitcoin, basing it on our W pattern, this pullback pattern that's happening. I want to see Bitcoin get up to 46,650. I want to see confluence with these markets topping. And if you missed the short that we talked about for weeks from the 618, from the all-time high, you could have got that short, 20% drop. We traded it in our room. But if you missed it, this may be a re-entry opportunity to be used in confluence with your own TA guys. That's something you guys should look at. And let's look at, let's jump over to the mini DAX. Mini DAX futures, guys. This is FDXM on the charts. This is DE40 on simple FX. Looking at our Fibonacci pool here, 1618-17072. We already know because I've showed you multiple times overlaying the Dow, the DAX and Dow track harmonically together. So if the S&P, if the NASDAQ and the Dow are all topping, what do you think is going to happen with DAX? I like the DAX here at 17K. You're at 17K right now, 16,994. I like the DAX at 17K. Even better, if any of these assets push up at all on Monday, Tuesday, even better. But I like it in this range. And then I expect the DAX to complete this retracement as well. Looking at the 618 at 15,605. 15,605, the higher level targets would be 15,9, 16,184. I expect the DAX to be topping out in confluence with the U.S. markets. Guys, I had to rush through this video due to the storm. I hope you guys all enjoy it. Definitely smash the like button, hit the subscribe button. Hope to see all of you in the room. Remember, Simple and Bing will pay for your first month on our Discord. Message Lee with any questions. Thursday is the new video, guys. Take care, everybody. Trading.